Good day guys, this is Ons here from darkprovance.tk or darkprovance.tumblr.com Today we're going to be looking into Dreamweaver and we're actually going to get the actual layout. So um, I hope you like this. If you don't have Dreamweaver, there will be like an annotation and everything so you can buy it. I'd recommend buying it because it's an actual awesome um, program. And basically, when you create a new document, it will create all the doc tags, HTML, head and body tags for you. Um, to get into this menu, you go File, New, and you just go HTML and click the None. You can go all this other stuff that they actually coded into you, like, so, like, they help you with this but we're going to do none because that's not our thing so as you can see there is um already made up so um if we go to the body tag and press enter three times it's done so basically i'm gonna jump into photoshop and show you how we're going to do this right now okay guys we're in photoshop right now and I was designing the divs when I first did this and it was going like this. It was not actually aligning them next to each other and that was a very big problem if you had um, a website and you had to change like the positioning and all that. And this is like what we're not doing. Um, I'm going to teach you the right way. So basically what we're going to have to do is when it changes over, basically it's a, um, a square. And um, I write a thousand pixels on it, but um, basically it's one thousand pixels. And with the two divs inside it, they need to be the exact same size. So if you have padding on it, and you want it six padding around like the corners and that, so you'll take three from one side and three for the other, so it's exact. So basically, we're going. I'm just going to make a, a, a thousand just for the sake of it. So basically, if it's a thousand, that means one needs to be like 50, one needs, I mean, 500, one needs to be 500. So basically, I'm going to use um, 300 and 700, or 400 and 600. So basically, they need to be exactly the same. So... And they actually align right next to us because we're using the CSS term float. So float left, float right. It is very useful for what we're going to do. So um, we're going to jump back into Dreamweaver and I'm going to show you how to do it. Thank you. Okay, well, so we're back into Dreamweaver and basically we're going to start coding it right now. So we're going to start with the CSS sheet. So we're going to open that with a style tag and we're going to write in T and press um, enter and we're going to do text slash CSS so basically um, it's a CSS sheet and no Dreamweaver actually like writes out the code for you so if you press down and press enter it will automatically enter and if you do a, a, forward, um, a forward arrow and then a, back, a forward slash it will end that like opening okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do hash main opening curly bracket and we're going to write in margin column zero pixels and then um, semicolon and then we're going to do Padding equals zero pixels and then semicolon again. And now we're going to do width and we're going to do 1000 pixels. So basically, we're going to have it 1000 pixels wide. We can change that later on, it doesn't matter. So just end that with the curly brackets, and that's basically the first part. Um, sorry, I can't actually show you anything because I don't have the div tags open but um, basically we're going to do the left side so we're going to do hash and we're going to do div and I wrote right here or left I wrote it right then but we're going to do open curly bracket and do margin zero padding zero and the width we're going to have I think it's 300 Sorry if I'm going too fast for you, I just got to keep it, the videos pretty, you know, pretty short. 
but the width is going to be 300 pixels so that means the right side needs to be 700 okay so you know we need that exact 1000 percent and the background color we're just going to make that transparent and we're going to just going to close that off oh and sorry i just forgot we need to write in the float so if you write in float and have left basically that will make that div go to the left side that's our main thing so we need floating <laughs> so now we're going to write one for the right side so we're going to do div right opening curly bracket and we're going to do the exact same but the width is going to be 700 and the float is going to be on the right so basically the exact same but just opposite so then it fits into our thousand pixel um, main div that we just wrote I hope that makes sense I've just gave you like a, a whole lot of CSS there <laughs> So basically, we just got the background transparent, so it goes with our background, and our float's going to go um, right. And then we're just going to end that with a curly bracket. And basically, that is it. And I forgot, but you need capital letters for the right and left, or it won't work. So we're just going to open this with a div, and go ID, and then go main and then close that off with the um, arrow and I'm just going to change the capital letters <laughs> so then it actually reads it and now because our left and right um, div containers they need to be inside the main so basically we can close it inside it but we just need that main one to go around it so we're just going to have that ID and go and here I stuff up I write right in but it's meant to be left and then I correct myself later on so sorry about that guys and then I finish that with a div then I go div ID um, quotation mark div right ending quotation mark and then the arrow so then basically it's saying go to this CSS sheet and take over those styles, okay? So I just fix that to go left and right now I'm just going to do left side and right side just to prove in the dis um, like display mode that it's true, you know, that what we're doing. So um, I'm just going to save this here. You don't have to ent um, enter the center tag here, so it um, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to save it so I don't lose this. And basically we got our left side for 300 pixels and our right side for 700. You can see that it's a, like a difference because 300 is, you know, smaller than 700, so... Um, thank, guys, thank you guys for watching my tutorial on floats. Sorry if I went too long, but this was going to be a 9 minute tutorial and I didn't want that to go that long, so um, sorry about that. But um, hope you like it guys, stay in tube, subscribe, like, always like to see good you know, comments and messages. Onzi's out.